Hey, welcome back to the Air Gun Advisor. And today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. In a previous video, I mentioned that I would be building up my F-150 here just to kind of meet the needs of my uh, air gunning lifestyle as well as you know family and so forth. And I have a tonneau cover on here right now, but as I mentioned earlier, it's just not secure enough. So today I have my father-in-law with me. We're going to be installing a diamond back tonneau cover and this thing is solid made all aluminum made right here in the united states over in pennsylvania stayed away and we're going to go ahead and show you the process of installing it and also removing the old tonneau cover so without further ado let's go ahead and get this thing off of here so here we are removing the old tonneau cover and i was really kind of surprised at how simple this was to remove if you happen to be in the same position I am, I was able to go ahead and sell this. I think I sold it for 50 bucks on uh, like Facebook or one of those Facebook marketplace, I think it actually was. But like I said before, this, uh, this tonneau cover just wasn't going to cut it. Way too easy to just slice in there and take any of my expensive equipment or any luggage that I might have in there. So it had to go and uh, it was really easy to do. All right, guys, with the old cover off, we're going to go ahead and open up the box. We've got the parts all laid out here for the cover. The main piece, from what I understand, is this center brace piece, and we have to get this mounted up and centered on the back of the truck. And once we do that, the rest of the installation should be pretty simple. All right, so here's what comes in that box. We've got some, looks like, uh, insulation or a uh, little rubber insulation here to seal it up around. we got a couple little plastic bits, an Allen wrench, four struts right here, and then of course these clamps that are going to clamp on the middle section of the tonneau cover. So looks like a really easy installation. We're going to pull out the instructions, make sure we follow those instructions to the T and get this thing installed. The directions are really well laid out, even very, very simple, uh, simply written so you can uh, follow them to the T. And one thing I really did appreciate is that everything, all the pieces and parts are well labeled. Here you can see the center panel even has a arrow for which direction the tailgate should be in relation to this panel. And you can see it's a, you can do this as a one man job, definitely a little bit faster with two people. So I was glad my father-in-law volunteered to help out on this project. Here we are just measuring it. We have to make sure that we get a ballpark estimate on where that lines up in the center there. And then we're going to go ahead and attach these clamps. Now these clamps, I want to give you just a little bit of a warning. I found them to be pretty sharp on the edges there. And, uh, you know, if you weren't ready for it, it could easily give you a little cut on your finger. But nothing that, nothing uh, too horrible there. But uh, these clamps, when we put them on the, for the first time, you're going to tighten them up, but not too tight. Because you want it to be able to move around as you're working on it. Because you're going to have to make some adjustments. So, got those on. And here's a little trick for you, as uh, they were a little tricky. When you're installing this in there, you can take it all apart and kind of sandwich it together. Or if you just twist this, this direction, you can slide it under the lip, pull it up, and then it should slide back in like that if it's loose enough. So just a quick, quick little tip. You could take it all the way apart, but just moving this, slide it up underneath the lip, and go like that makes it a lot easier. So with that metal bracket all clamped down, and like I said, it's a, it's a loose fit. You don't want to clamp it down all the way. We went ahead and grabbed the top panels, and this one, the rear panel here, and I was really impressed and uh, how easily these go on and off. You know, you, you read on the website about how you can easily remove these panels, and, and to be honest, you really can. And the fit is, you know, top, top of the line. You got those channels there in the middle so you don't have to worry about the water coming in and then at about this point in time i'm looking at this build and i'm thinking man we are just about done but we weren't actually so you know i mentioned we keep that center panel loose and this is why you're going to see an example of it here we get this back panel on or the front panel and as we lower it down here we go ahead and see that it's just not going to quite fit. As a matter of fact, this is nice to have two people here because if you lowered it down too fast, then you probably hit that back window, maybe break it or scratch it. So we had to fold it back up onto itself here, which is also another nice feature of the Diamondback that it, it does allow you to do this. And you can strap that down if you need to. Put up the tailgate, and then we're going to go ahead and just slide this backwards. We're going to slide the whole thing. And this is why it's loose again. You see, we can slide it backwards. It took two of us, one on each corner, kind of adjust it. 
and you can use that back tailgate as a measuring tool to kind of see make sure you get it even all the way across and there you go look at that fit that was nice now i did want to put it a little for, further forward but overall man i was really 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 impressed at how well that fit once you got that all taken care of and, and everything's lined up we had to open it up and i'm going to crawl back in there you notice that cardboard that I have sitting in there you're probably wondering why it wasn't because I didn't want the back to get dirty let me tell you by having that cardboard there allowed me to slide in to the bed and roll around in there as you're going to spend a little bit of time on your back uh, while installing this so we're going to have them clamp those down the instructions do say that after about the first hundred miles you're going to want to go ahead and reclamp those down just tighten them up once you got those two panels up and ready, you really feel like you've made some good products. I mean, it took 15, maybe 20 minutes to get to that point. This is when the project slows down just a little bit, when you start having to work on the locking mechanisms and making sure everything just gets adjusted correctly. Just a heads up, you're going to want to use your 9 16 socket and a 7 16 socket uh, to undo all of these bolts. And then also you're going to have a 1 8 hex key. Now it does come with that hex key, so you don't have to worry about pulling one out. It's already in the box and in the instructions here. But this is the part that's going to take you just a little bit of time. But here we we're just unloosing them. And then right here we're also going to install some bed rail edge trim. There's four of them. I'm just going to show you me installing one of them. Uh, that really just helps those rods to slide across the inside of your bed nice and smoothly. Once, uh, once you start tightening these up, it does help to have one person kind of pin it down so the... Uh, the weather stripping makes a nice seal there. You can see my father-in-law standing there. He was helping me to hold that, that one down while I was tightening it up. And there, here we go. You can put him, see him putting a hand on there, making sure it's nice and nice and solid. Now, you will probably have to loosen these and adjust them quite a bit uh, just to get that right fit. Remember, these are aluminum panels, and although the aluminum is very solid, and like I said you can drive an ATV on the top of it, if you, if you tighten one down too tight, you can always just get a little warpage and work on the seal. So we got the back one done, and then we went ahead and moved forward. You'll notice that cardboard in there. Like I said, that was a lifesaver. It really helped me sliding in and out of there. That WeatherTech, uh, I should say that's a, that's a bullet spray in liner, not WeatherTech, but uh, you know, it's really sticky, and it's, it's hard, to, hard to move around in. So here we are loosening those panels for the other, um, or those locks for the other panel. And again, this does take some time to, uh, to get just right. So this is what I was talking about earlier, just having to crawl underneath there. And you can't see my father-in-law. He's on the other side there. He is holding that down so I can get a nice tight fit. Now we're going to fast forward. Now we've got those locks all taken care of, and we're going to go ahead and put on these uh, struts here, gas springs. These gas springs are what's going to hold it up, and it makes it, you know, opening and closing that that panel so much easier. And the nice thing about it is how easy those struts go on. Um, they just kind of snap on. Now this is a safety bar that uh, also provides a handle on the other side. So it's only on that front panel there. Uh, but it does help to hold it up, make sure it's not going to fall on you while you're digging in there, and then also make sure it doesn't fly up if you forget to latch it as you drive down the road. Again, two more of these gas springs. Again, very simple uh, to install. And I should note also that there's just a clip that you have to unclip if you want to undo them if you're trying to you know, carry something or you need access to your whole bed and you need to take these doors off. It's, again, very, very simple, uh, simple process to get those off. One little bit of weather stripping that we had to install, we had those plastic, uh, we have a plastic edge on the bed and we have to fill in that gap by the window, by the bulkhead there. And we just, it comes with this, this is that uh, weather stripping that comes with, you just go ahead and clean that off with some uh, glass cleaner or rubbing alcohol and then go ahead and install it. Now this last little bit here is not required, doesn't even mention it in the instructions, but I went ahead and marked on the bed and on that crossbar where it lines up and this is a paint pen so give me a nice permanent mark on there that way if i ever have to take it off again or need to you know replace something or just to check to see if it's moving around i have a reference point and really guys that's all there is to it well here we there's one last bit to do here we're gonna have to make this an official diamondback truck
there you go. Well, and that's the whole process of installing this diamond back cover. I hope you enjoyed the build. If this is your first time visiting the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. Do you think this diamond back cover is going to be a good one? And keep your eyes open for a upcoming video. I'm going to review this along with some accessories for this diamond back cover as well.